Welcome to Philip Capital Weekly Market Watch. My name is Victor Y from Unit Trust Research. Today we are going to look at how investors can prepare for the major events happening. We are barely a month to the edge of fiscal cliff. What it means is that if there isn't any resolution by the Congress to address the budget deficits, the Bush tax era would expire and government spending would also be reduced automatically by an approximate amount of $535 billion. This could potentially tip the fragile US economy into recession. However, what we have seen in recent days is that the Republicans and the Democrats speak optimism of averting the crisis. Mr. Obama, in particular, is hopeful that by Christmas, the blueprint will be out. Across the Pacific, we see a bottoming out Chinese economy. China's PMI in the month of November pointed to the highest level in 13 months. Retail sales figure in China is stable, with rising weight trade. Inflation at 1.7% is tame, signaling more room for expansionary policy. However, the recent signs of recovery have yet to pass on to the domestic equity market. While we are cautiously optimistic on China, we think that a better bet on a stronger Chinese economy is to place money at resource-rich export nations of whom China deal with, such as Brazil and ASEAN. These two economic regions trade with China are growing despite the slowing macro environments of developed economies. In December, Operation Twist will end. This effectively means that the Fed will stop using the money from the sale of short-term debts to buy long-term debts. In replacement to Operation Twist, our macro research team opines the Fed would increase the size of the quantitative easing per month from the current 40 billion. Although we are not seeing inflation picking up yet, with the vast amount of cheap money floating in the market, inflation risk is a real concern for investors. While we are optimistic of US on course for slow and steady recovery, we caution against going head on with equities. It is worth noting the previous budget talk in summer 2011 had the US downgraded from its AAA status by S&P. Hence, we advise a certain allocation to investment graded bonds. With inflation risk in sight, an allocation to inflation linked bonds may offer a good bet to protect real investment returns. Further, most of these inflation-linked bonds are of investment grade. In conclusion, until fiscal cliff is well and truly averted, we believe a diversified portfolio is likely to ride out the market turbulence in December. Thank you and see you again.